Well, it's a busy time for security agencies back here in Nigeria as the FCT Commissioner of Police, Mr. Adirele Shinaba, has announced the arrest of 25 more suspects in connection with the Fulani Gwari communal clash in Gwako village. At the presentation of the committee report on the crisis, Mr. Shinaba said the suspects will be thoroughly interrogated. Also, the FCT Minister, Senator Bala Mohammed, has inaugurated an eight-man implementation committee to follow through on the recommendations, noting that the positions of district heads in the villages will be re-examined to address restiveness in the communities. Within a week of investigations into the Fulani Gwari communal clash, which threw several families into mourning and displacing hundreds, the FCT Commissioner of Police, Mr. Adirin Le Shiaba, has announced a total arrest of 43 suspects in connection with this bloody attack. While investigations are still ongoing, some people who have visited victims like Abubakar Geladima, a Gwari farmer whose hand was cut off in the fracas, say the possibility of reprisal attacks still looms. But chairman of the investigative committee assured that the police have tackled the matter. In fact, we were surprised to hear from the direct victims of this attack, that is the Fulani cattle rearers, urging this committee that whatever punishment will be apportioned to the culprits, we should make sure that it has a human face. Already, the FCT minister, Senator Bala Mohammed, believes that some people might be instigating violence among communities, restating the federal government's vow to fish up perpetrators to face the law. The majority of the people are innocent both the Gwaris and the Fulanis. There must be people inciting them. In all cases where we have this uh, crisis in Plateau and other parts of the country, normally there are those that are instigating because they benefit from the crisis. And we want to make sure we get them out of the community, we get them out of the society, not only to persecute or demonize them, but also to rehabilitate them. The minister set up an eight-man implementation committee to follow up on the recommendations and ensure that justice is done. The Fulani Katu Rarers have pleaded for leniency of punishment to avoid any reprisal attack from their Gwari neighbors. In another one week, these displaced Fulani herdsmen would know their fate and may finally be able to go back peacefully to their homes. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.